the company? Sunrise, you own the company. Oh wow, cool. <laughs> ah, Yapakaba. Ah, the, you have potatoes? Yeah, you keep five ringgit for me. Later, coming back. Hi, how are you? Good, long time no see. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hola hola everyone hope you guys are having a good time i'm bringing you another video from Patu Ferengi, 30 minutes drive away from georgetown here in penang i call this place the little miami of malaysia because it's kind of a tourist hotspot here in penang a tiny island with less than 20k people and the reason i call this place a tourist hotspot is look at this road is basically dominated by resorts. This is the popular Shangri-La resort, and this is another resort, Golden Sand Resort. They kind of share the same golf course. They have a golf course in this place. And to my left is the Lone Pine Resort. And if you go further away, probably 500 meters away, that is uh, Park Royale. So I call it the resort lane. So I just got out from this building behind me, the white building. The problem in this place is it's really difficult to get a place to stay, especially if you are looking for Airbnb or homestay. They literally just banned homestay in this vicinity. I don't know why, but it's not allowed. If you want to stay in this place, you need to book a boutique hotel. You know, they are everywhere. Hi, Apakaba. Ah, the, you have potatoes? Yeah, you keep five ringgit for me. Later, I'm coming back. Ah, no, thank you. Hi, how are you? Good, long time no see. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I call this place the soul of the city because basically, this city is a dead street without this uh, it's a dead city without the street because literally everything you want to do is just available on the street i get my groceries from this place and i think there is a salon a spa i mean whatever you want to do is just in this place as well <laughs> This is one of the oldest buildings in this vicinity, you know. Because to me, if you ask me what color this building is, I'll just say it's colorless. <laughs> I think they can just do them a favor by repainting the old thing, you know. The structure is nice, but they just have to fix the color, maybe just retouch it a bit. The problem with buildings like that is Probably the management doesn't make so much money from those kind of buildings anymore so they just kind of ignore uh, the basic
This is a very busy street at night, I mean very busy. If you come here around 9, 10, 11 p.m., this place is just kind of packed, you know, filled up with people because they have a lot of uh, street uh, restaurants, I mean street food right in this place. This is one of the biggest restaurants in this place. The Golden Sun Restaurant. Golden Sun. Thank you. We like the ski Ah, thank you. I've been there already. Yeah. You work for which of the companies? My company is Sunrise. Your company? Yeah. Sunrise. You own the company. Oh wow, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there are there are a lot of companies on the beach, you know, offering this jet ski or parasail services. He said he owns one. <laughs> he looks young, and that's cool. This is another restaurant called the Lone Pine. I think it's gonna rain today. You know, 30 minutes ago it was really hot. The sun was so hot. The day was bright and suddenly <laughs> everywhere is calm. Hi. So this is a street store where you can get something to wear, you know. You can get your sunshade, get your street wears, you know, proper island things. This is a seafood restaurant. So if you're a seafood fan or if you're a lover of seafood, that would be a good place for you. But I'm not a big fan of seafood. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so this is a bus stop. Actually I haven't used the public transport here in Penang. I feel like it's not so easy. You know unlike Kuala Lumpur where public transports are everywhere. Even sometimes you don't even need a public transport. All you need to get is just one scooter on the street. But it's so difficult here in Penang. You know you can't find any scooter on the street. This is the night market area. You see all these tiny stores are usually open late night. Look at this guy coming behind me. <laughs> He's just moving his own store to a perfect spot. as the coffee store, mini mart, restaurants and of course this place leads directly to the beach. Damn, it's gonna rain so heavy. Look at the sky. Are you new right in this spot? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Because I've been here several times and I haven't seen uh, you for the first time. Like one month. One month? Oh cool. I'll check you out some other time. So I've been here several times and I haven't seen him. It's actually the first time I get to see him. <laughs>
sorry. Hello. I actually didn't realize they have a Nasi Kanda store in this place. Makan? Makan, Makan. So these guys are eating Nasi Kanda. Is this the best Nasi Kanda in Kota Faringi? Yes. Simply the best. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the best Nasi Kanda in Kota Faringi. So I guess I'll find out some other time. I was talking that spot for about 30 minutes. Yeah, it was raining. You can see everywhere is now wet. restaurant is called The Ship. I like the fact that the name is very simple and they made it a, a replica of a ship. Let's check out the beach real quick. This is the Batu Ferengi famous beach. You know. This is a place where people from every part of the world come to to chill. I think this is one of the busiest beach here in Penang. You have a lot of water sports going on on this beach. Look at the structure of this golden tie. The structure is amazing, you know, but nothing, literally nothing is going on in this place. It's just very empty. I don't know why. I think there should be something going on in this place. It's, it's amazing. I want to make this sabok get this whole place. Look at the size of this place. <laughs> the car park is so spacious and the building itself is just far away. They must be rich. A <laughs> pack So anyone I see I just say a pack if they say hi, I say Apakaba. I'm trying to familiarize, acting like I could speak Malay. A 
pack a bar. What is that from Bali? Yeah. Pancake. Oh, okay. A from Bali is pancake. Can I try one? <laughs> so I'm gonna try one. This is a form salute. Well, it's good. But no, no, peanuts and this, I'm not sure. <laughs> I had the first taste of a pump a leg. It's not bad, it's something you can just eat once in a while. <laughs> Here is Park Royale. Park Royale! Let me walk into this place. No one's gonna stop me, no one knows if I kind of lodged in in this place or not. Let's go to the lobby. First time here in Penang that I get to see loads of black people in one place. <laughs> you know, I actually counted more than 20 black people in there. So let's head back out. Your spa? Oh, nice. It's time to call it a day. I want to say a big thank you to you guys for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor by smashing the like and su subscribe button. Thank you guys, and see you on the next one. Peace out.